What's going on, guys? So today we're talking about how you guys can get XP in MLB The Show 24, especially for the new program in Season 3. Let's take a look at it real quick. Season 3 XP Reward Path. Yes, it is complete. I have done it. So we'll be talking about what I did to get this done. And it's going to go back to like the schedule. And there was a new XP reward path that just came out last Friday. And we they gave us double XP weekend. The biggest tip I can always give you guys is take advantage of double XP weekend. Because that means it is quad XP cap. So instead of like 15,000 or 25,000 being the cap. Now 100,000 is going to be the XP cap for that day. And reminder, that is only gameplay XP that has nothing to do with any of the program XP that we're also going to be talking about in this video. First things first, what I did, I completed Team Infinity as well. If you guys missed that video, be sure to check it out. I show you guys how to complete Team Infinity as fast as possible. So check that video out on my channel from a couple days ago. And that's going to give us some XP as well. So starting out 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, and then finally 15,000 per division. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90,000 XP just from completing Team Affinity, plus all the gameplay XP you're going to get while grinding at Team Affinity. On top of that, if you guys saved any programs from Season 3, like all these programs right here, the Wild Card programs, the Season Awards programs, if you guys didn't finish those, they did not nerf the XP on these, so you can still get the XP, and it is not nerfed, still 10,000 for Season Awards, still 5,000 for the Wild Card programs, and even this program right here, they did not nerf it either because they were still part of season three. And this is just part two. Next, we're going to go back to the schedule because you do have some things coming up that can also help you guys get XP, including four division series programs that actually come out today, depending on when this video is being uploaded. Probably going to upload this video today. So these should already be out right now or very shortly, but most likely by the time this video goes live, these video, these programs are live. Four new division series programs come out at 12 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. And with that being said, a new extreme program this Friday is coming out and another double XP weekend that you guys can take advantage of and finish that XP reward path. And a new Battle Royale program coming out next week, as well as a new ranked. So if you don't get things done this week, do keep in mind that you guys can do it next week. Now, talking about ranked and Battle Royale, with a new Battle Royale and ranked coming out, make sure you guys go and get this ranked program done, because time is of an essence this will no longer be available if you do not get it done and there's tons of xp let's count it just so you guys can know how much xp you guys can get by playing the rank seasons program you can also grind this program in co-op with friends so if you don't want to play solo but still want to get the xp play with some friends get it done so 1500 2000 is 3500 6000 right there 9,000, 12,000, 15,500, 19,000, I think, uh, around 26,000. I'm going to count the 500, uh, 33,000, and then finally 20,000. So 53,000, roughly around 54,000. We talk, count the 500. So 54,000 XP that you can get from the ranked eight program, plus your gameplay XP, right, that you're going to get while playing it. Battle Royale, same thing. Make sure you guys are doing this program. Lots of XP to be had in this. 8,000, we're going to say 8,000, uh, 15,000, 20,000, 25, 30, 35, 40, 43, 46, 49, and 52,000. So 52,000 in the br program as well that you guys can grab and those are expiring next week so be sure you guys are doing those before that xp does expire and we get another program for us to grind 
On top of that, events. There's a current event right now. You can get some XP from this. 2,000 right there. 3,000, that's 5,000. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, and then finally 30,000 XP if you get 25 wins in the postseason event, along with some packs, some stubs, and some card rewards. So definitely a good program to grind because that could also help you with collections as well in the game. So those are the three or four or five main reasons to get XP, and that's how I did it. I did the exactly how I did it right here. I did Team Affinity, right? We did Team Affinity. We grinded that. And then we went and grinded the BR program as well. So we did the BR program. We're 6 and 0 currently. And also, we saved some of these other programs. We weren't playing the game as much. And we decided, hey, we're going to save these programs for when the new season comes out just so we can get some easy XP because we already finished the X last xp reward path so we wanted to make sure that we finished this xp reward path very very quickly so we saved all these programs the ones that i saved were the wild card program season awards drop six drop five drop four and even drop three because like 10,000 5 15,000 xp for each one of those season award drops adds up so we got 15,000 there 15,000 there 15,000 there 15,000 there that's 60,000 xp from those Another five there, so five at 65, 70, 75, 80,000 XP from those. And then finally, with this one right here, that's basically 90,000, 95, 100,000, 105,000, 110,000 XP from this one. I already had this already unlocked. So 110,000 XP from programs, and then the BR program, and then finally Team Affinity. And that's why I am sitting at 366,000 XP. But anyways, I hope this video does help you guys out. Help you guys understand how I got my XP quickly. And you guys take advantage of those double XP weekends. We have another one coming up. And any new programs that are coming into the game. Starting with the Division Series programs that come out later today. So hopefully you guys get your XP. Get that Mickey Mantle unlocked. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out. And I'll see you guys next time.